Are you still unable to string a sentence in Portuguese and you feel bad about it? Frustrated even, perhaps? Well, leave that frustration aside and come with me because I have a great tip to share with you. I'm Katerina, this is The Language and School, a place where I help you feel comfortable speaking Portuguese. Speaking is something we usually have great expectations about, but think about it. We were not born as babies. We were not born speaking. When we're born, we just have that capacity to listen. Now, in case you haven't put enough time um, working on your listening skills in Portuguese, getting enough input, check my mini tuga below with great tips to help you immerse in the language. Now, when you start having the gist of what is being said, understanding what is going on, it's time to start making you speak. But of course, you're not going to be able to say a lot. It's still perhaps too early. So one great way of actually starting to speak is, number one, finding someone who's really chatty, which 90% of the population in Portugal is, so that's easy. Now, number two is learning how to ask questions that will put you in a more empowering position in the conversation. This video I have does have tips on how to ask questions in Portuguese. Now, step number three is reacting, and that's what I want to talk to you about today. Now, while questions put you in a position of, I'm the director of this conversation, I want to go it this way, I want to know where it's heading, because otherwise I'm lost, reacting is something that helps the other person know that you're following so it actually makes you allows you to participate more in the conversation even though you're not speaking a lot maybe 10 percent but you're actually conversing and it's a great feeling so now let me show you two messages my unschoolers sent me to english native speakers so you understand what's going on and i will react in portuguese so here we go one afternoon we were walking and we came across a lioness and the problem was that were to our left and quite close to us, whereas the lioness oh. was further ahead in front of us and Deutsch. we posed a threat to her cubs. She was very aggressive, she oh, yes. started growling at us and she was ready to charge us. I was quite scared at the time. Claro. Luckily my boyfriend has a lot of experience with this type of thing, so no he told me exactly what to do. He said just stay calm away slowly push um, and I only moved when he did and eventually we got away and everyone was safe can leave you so being Portuguese and being but being born and growing up in South Africa is a curious thing Como assim? I keep having words that I know in Portuguese that I don't know in English even though I don't speak Portuguese Hi. So I end up going to clothes shop asking for pantufus, pantufus, which are sandals, and end up getting very irritated with the attendant when they can't help me Push. and don't understand me when I use these words. Like no. Also, having a daughter is a very curious and wonderful thing. I. She says for this, which is a very horrible swear word in Portuguese, <laughs> but in South Africa we thought it was cute and nobody understood, so we thought no harm, no foul. <laughs> Moving to Portugal in the shop and hurting her finger, she screamed at the top of her lungs for this, <laughs> no, whereas everybody in the shop turned around and stared not at my daughter but at me as the bad parent who taught her this terrible word. Poison machine. <laughs> Did you already know any of these reaction words, little expressions? Do you use them? Are you going to? Let me know in the comments. Now, if you want more exposure to Portuguese so that you actually see this kind of expressions in context, check my mini tuga below, uh, which has six re different resources to help you immerse in the language. Now, in a bit, I will share a playlist with tips on how to understand Portuguese, because of course, you will only be able to react or ask questions when you already understand some of, of what is being said. But before that, it's story time. Uma expressão que eu usava muito em polaco, uma que eu achava muito gira era o Itagdale. Usava, hoje em dia já não falo, não tenho tanto contato com a língua, ainda algumas, 
E então era o fim de qualquer frase na, 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 e tal, tal, uh, que significa etc em polaco. Porque eu não, o meu polaco não, não estava desenvolvido, não era crescido o suficiente para desenvolver uma ideia. Então eu ficava-me ali pelo reticências e tal, tal, e, e a conversa se calhar até soava mais inteligente, não sei. <risos> um, outra coisa que eu dizia muito em termos de, de reação, não é como eu estava agora a dizer em português, era na pravda, as pessoas estão a falar e eu percebo talvez uns 70% e então eu enfio para lá aqui, ali a meio da conversa, um a sério, na pravda, ou oh, minha viaja, minha viaja, minha viaja, não acredito. Um, em polaco é que havia mais? Não sei, mas sei que sobrevivi muito à custa deste tipo de expressões, de reações, porque eu, eu percebi que fazia com que as pessoas continuassem a falar, o que era só benéfico porque ajudava-me a continuar a ouvir a língua. Outra coisa que... não é outra coisa, da Polónia fui para a Holanda e em holandês também eu, foi a única língua que eu mudei e comecei a aprender no país, eu sempre aprendia as línguas antes e foi interessante porque eu lembro logo no início eu comecei a fazer escalada, fiz uma amiga no início que falava muito bem inglês, como qualquer holandês, e ela às vezes levava-me a casa e eu a certa altura eu parei e disse assim, ou lá, não me lembro agora do nome dela, mas ouve lá, como é que se diz really em holandês? Eu preciso saber. E eu acho que ela até já falava comigo um bocado em holandês para eu uh, ir-me habituando à língua. Eu tenho ideia, porque eu acho que não percebia tudo o que ela dizia. <risos> é possível. E ela, quando lembro perfeitamente, estamos a chegar à casa onde eu estava, onde eu estava a viver, lembro-me de ver o portão e ela dizer-me, ert. E eu, ert? Falava tão estranha, não é? Agora dizendo, noutro contexto. E é assim, é assim que a pessoa começa a falar. É, é, estamos a, finalmente sentimos que estamos a participar da conversa e não há nada melhor. É espetacular. Recomenda-se. <risos>